Welcome back, you guys. I'm Connie. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. This week, I'm here with my favorite sedan. This is the Mercedes-Benz AMG CLA 35. And truthfully, the AMG CLA 45 is my all-time favorite sedan. But this 35 is fun, too. And I don't actually know if you can get the CLA 45 right now. It's not on the U.S. website. It is still listed on the Canadian website. But uh, I'll tell you about the difference between the two when we go for a drive. But right now, let's have a look around. I just love everything about this body style. It is just so amazing and sleek and sporty looking. These are uh, optional 19 inch black spoke wheels. And uh, you have frameless doors. And this sporty back end it looks phenomenal. Even the backup camera is hidden underneath that Mercedes-Benz logo. Dual exhaust, that sounds really good. Love the way that opens. A nice size trunk. It's even got my favorite red seat belts. That is an option as well. I believe it's $250. We've got vents for your rear passengers. A USB-C charger, a Burmester sound system, a nice large sunroof, and this beautiful red contrast stitching, and I believe they call this just microfiber, but it looks amazing, and I love the way the door handles are shaped. And of course, driver's side door has memory seating, power windows and door locks, a trunk uh, release and this one has the optional heated seats, but not the optional um, Ventilated seats. I love the way Mercedes-Benz does their Lock indicators. It does have a manual thigh extender and these seats are beautiful, but I will say this microfiber really shows Like hair and dust and crumbs and things as you can see my dog's hair uh, aluminum pedals. I do wish the dead pedal was aluminum as well. It just always looks a little more sporty. Let's get in and start it. All right. This has the optional AMG drive unit on the steering wheel, which I adore. This is to change your drive mode. So we just went into sport. Let's go into super sport or sport plus, I should say. And a fully digital gauge cluster and a media screen all on one big panel of glass, which I love. Not only can you put it in Sport Plus, you can also totally customize it here. You can put it in, um, you can turn off your auto start stop. You can change your suspension back to comfort or into Sport versus Sport Plus. The higher the Sport, the more stiffer the suspension. You can put it in manual, which means you will then use your um, paddle shifters here. You have these two little mini touch screens which help to customize this whole design and display. Let's put it in Super Sport and then once you have it in the um, design you like you can also customize what you're seeing on the screen by using this little touchpad again. You can customize literally everything on here. See, it even has navigation on there. Uh, I like the sport we had it on, or let's have a look at classic. I like the colors of the classic. It's just so clean. And I like that digital speedometer right in the middle there. It's so nice and clear. This does not have the optional head-up display, which is fine with me. I'm not a head-up display fan anyway. I love Mercedes round vents. We have uh, some optional um, decor there, uh, a wireless charging pad with a little thing that keeps your phone in place. It is a USB-C. It is wired Apple CarPlay. Nice little customizable sized cup holders and a touch pad for the media screen. Also drive modes can be selected here. And this is an all wheel drive, so I think it has slippery, it does. And that's great for when you're driving in um, winter weather or wet conditions. This is just to rest your elbow on, or not elbow, your wrist on when you're using the touch screen. One thing I don't wanna to forget to mention, I love Mercedes-Benz drive uh, gear stock. So you just 
Tap it up once to put it in reverse. Excellent backup camera. Tap it down once for drive. And then the park button is right here on the end, but it will put it in park automatically if you just turn off the car. So I love that as well. Some cars don't do that still. A nice size cubby. And uh, this Burmester sound system is great. It's not their surround sound. Um, it's not their surround sound. I just noticed the drive, the passenger side has memory seating as well, which is fantastic. All right, let's go for a drive in this CLA 35. So I actually fell in love with the AMG CLA 45 when I first drove it on the Island Motorsport Circuit track during a one day performance level one program there. And then I had the CLA 45 for a week in December of that same year, I believe, 2020. And I love the CLA 45. Um, it's just a lot punchier than this. This has a little bit of a fake exhaust sound, as you can hear. Oh, that was the first time I heard it pop. That's fun. Um, okay, so this is a two liter turbo in line four cylinder getting 302 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. The CLA 45 is 382 horsepower, so there's quite a jump there, and it just, it's apparently one of the most powerful, or if not the most powerful, four-cylinders you can buy, production car. Um, I really, really love that sedan. I think it's my favorite sedan ever. Um, so, of course, I still love this 35, it's just not quite as spicy as the 45 is. So let's talk comfort. Obviously, fantastically comfortable. Um, somebody on TikTok said these seats look too tall and too narrow, but I think they're very comfortable. They fit me well. I am only 5'1", but um, I love my driving position in this car. It just fits me. And uh, I love a little four-door coupe. It's just beautiful and also really fun to drive. All right, so as I mentioned, the CLA 45 is not currently listed on the US website, so I'm not sure if that just means it's not currently available. Um, it is still listed on the Canadian site. Um, let's talk about price for a minute. The, this starts around 52,000 Canadian dollars or around 48,000 US dollars. That of course goes up with packages so this has the premium package the amg night package the amg drive unit the red seat belts and um probably forgetting a few other things but as specced as you see it, even the white paint color this is the premium uh digital white metallic it's not the base white so all said this one's around sixty-one thousand canadian dollars or around fifty-five thousand us dollars it is as I've mentioned, one of my favorite sedans. I love the look, the feel, the size, the way it handles, the way it drives, the drive modes. If I were to buy this, or if I, would, if I were to buy any AMG, I would always get the drive unit because I love that flexibility of being able to change drive modes and settings right on the steering wheel every time you get in. And what do you think? Leave me a comment, question, subscribe. Thanks for being here.